our time in China has come to an end. Join us on a long journey back to Manila as our 144-hour visa difficulties continue. We will be revisiting some familiar places and experiencing many different forms of transit. China has been awesome, so you can be sure that after this last journey, we'll be back. Boom, boom, boom. Good morning from Shenzhen. The metros are closed and it's almost 7.30. Something's going on, something's fishy here. It closed at like nine last night. Right in front of our eyes. And now we have to take a DD all the way to the ferry port, which is a 50 minute drive. Luckily it's not crazy expensive, it's $10. To the dang wharf, dude. Ooh, what the wharf, did you just wharf me? And if it's the wrong wharf for some reason, somehow, we're screwed. <laughs> We're gonna get deported, but not deported. They get detained. Right? Right. We made it to the port. Or I should say the Shenzhen Shuko Cruise Center. Uh, it's not a port, it's a cruise center. Mm. We're cruising on the water. Mm. This area here is really cool. I mean, we drove and there's just skyscrapers on skyscrapers. Ah, well, hopefully everything goes smooth. We get on this thing and then we're right sailing off to Macau. <sighs> we already have our tickets, so we don't have to worry about not getting on or something like that, hopefully. <laughs> we don't get on, then things are very, very, very poor. And it's gonna be very expensive. Well, let's go. Oh, this is pretty big. Wow, this is pretty impressive. This is a lot more epic than the Hong Kong ferry port we went to yeah. last time. Hong Kong kind of oofers. Holy nuts. The Colonel isn't it open. Dang, yeah, but the Colonel's even in a Chinese New Year attire. Uh, you can sail all the way to Da Nang. Really? That's pretty far. Let's sail to Da Nang. That would have been a cool uh, cruise right there, just along the coast. We're in the cruise center. We are. We could go anywhere we want. International to the right. Wow. Self-service ticketing. Hong Kong airport check-in. <coughs> oh. Why wasn't there any ferries directly to the Hong Kong airport available for us? All right, let's try to do this check-in, see what we have to do, and here we go. We made it on the boat and wow, was that quite the journey. We had online tickets for this ferry. We couldn't print them off at the like self-service station. We couldn't check in at the gates. So we had to go to some other area, finally get the ticket. That's a whole nother story. But uh, we noticed up on the board that there was direct ferries to the Hong Kong airport, which we could not find online anywhere. So we decided we're gonna go up and we're gonna ask the front desk people like if we could get that ticket instead. And like we were gonna make sure and get our Macau ticket too. So we didn't miss it in case we couldn't get a Hong Kong. International Airport ticket for some reason and oh gosh that went very poor. The guy did not understand us at all and uh, started very loudly saying that Hong Kong and Macau are very different. It's like US and UK. Very very different. And we were like we know we just need we're asking if we can get tickets to the Hong Kong airport and he was like no 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 Macau and Hong Kong very different. It was he didn't, very, he didn't understand. Very, very poor. One of those situations, just like with YouTube comments, people get uh, very upset and very adamant about things they definitely did not understand. And uh, it was right to our face. And then eventually, after he keeps saying it over and over, we're just like, okay, okay. And then uh, now we're going to Macau. Then the exit immigration was interesting too because not many of the workers seem to know what this is. They scroll through our passport and they're like, oh, where's your visa? Where's your visa? And there's like a lot of confusion, but eventually we made it through. Same thing that kind of happened when we showed up. Immigration worker was like, where's your visa? And we were like, 144 hour transit. And then they're like, I had no idea what it is. And they had to talk to a few people until somebody finally knew what it was. And I'm not 100% sure she knew all of the specifications still. I still feel like we could have left the train. But we don't know for sure. Last night we were deciding whether to just try the train, but then all these things were saying that uh, you could get reprimanded by the authorities if you attempt to leave the country illegally. So if that is potentially illegal, uh, it's probably not worth the risk. So, 
we are legally exiting the country at the moment. And it's probably going to cost us about uh, $60 a person more than it had to. Very unfortunate. Possibly got screwed by officials or we didn't do enough research even though we did as much research as possible. I don't know what the deal is but we did so much research for this visa and it was so... We seem to know more than the officials about it. I don't know. It's just very hard. Find information online that's exactly correct about a country that is completely cut off from the internet. Yeah, it seems like most people, when they use this visa, they go to Shanghai. Yeah, so they probably know it. I guess not many people use it in Guangdong. Because um, in Shenzhen, we saw a lot more foreigners or like white people. In, in Guangzhou, we saw 10 the whole time. So obviously, not many people are utilizing that. But we're headed into Macau now, still technically in China, but we have officially left mainland China. We can't get de detained anymore. No, not yet. They'll hunt us down. You left the wrong way. We got an hour ferry here to Macau, and then we'll have a few hours in Macau before having to catch another $30 bus to the Hong Kong airport. That might also be a mess. Nothing that we book online seems to translate directly to any like self-service kiosk, which is very unfortunate. So that's just our uh, our story here of Chinese entry and exit. Stressful exit from China. Let's go to fracking Macau. Wow. Oh my gosh, we saw this bay from the other side yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty shanazer, dude. <laughs> Welcome to Macau. We're taking advantage of the free shuttle service. Just got through customs and out of the ferry port. We have downtown to the Lisboa, but unfortunately, so is everybody else. Hey, what's Mackin' dudes? We're Mackin' Macau. We just did an epic strat. The, everyone wanted to go to the Lisbo Lisboa because, you know, it's the cool building. And we just went to the hotel across the street from the Lisboa and ours was way faster. And there was like three people on it. That's epic. So yeah, I didn't expect to be back in Macau this quickly, but here we are. Won't be here long, just a few hours. So go get some food, walk around, see that beautiful fracking pineapple building once more. When it's sunny out. Yeah. Last time we were here, our last day, it was like decent temperature, but the sun really never came out. Ripper McSnippers. The weather is fantastico. We got a long day ahead of us, and this is our little break in between all of it. We're like a third of the way done. <sighs> Let's go. What an interesting walking path. They actually have a lot of walking infrastructure here. Macau's pretty neat. I like the I like the look of this city too. It's such a cool mix between the old, the new, and the European and the Chinese. Very interesting. Definitely one of the most unique cities in the world. Very cool. Macau is a lot busier than last time we were here. My gosh, there's people everywhere. What an interesting looking building. This place is busy. Now we're going into the old Grand Lisbon to get a shuttle bus ticket. Oh my gosh, it's so busy. This place is crazy. There's another Chow Tai Fook inside. Let's go. Guys, I've counted uh, 11 Chow Tai Fooks and Luke Fooks. Are we gonna go down? Yeah, somewhere out here. Well, this place is cool. We basically just came to Macau. We had a few hours, so we went and saw this fragging place. Or can we not go down? Oh. Excuse me. Where do we get the shuttle bus tickets? Down? Okay. So we have to go down. I have to go down to the casino. Well, this is absolute chaos. And we are running out of time. There's no order. We're being pushed and pulled in every direction. We don't know where the heck we're going. He said inside casino now, so I gotta turn off this camera. Wow, what an absolute mess. Well, we got it. 
Yeah, it was a weird process. You just had to go downstairs just to get it. And then it was like in the corner of the casino. So if you're if you're not of age, you just can't get a ticket, I guess. Very weird. Well, hopefully because that was such a process, not many people did it and the line's not long, right? And hopefully the bus is there right on time, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Every 12 minutes, right? We got to see some busy areas of Macau once again. Very busy this time. The bus showed up right when we got there. Perfect timing. They just ushered us on very quickly and now we're heading to the border. Last time we were in Macau, we thought it was more laid back because we went to Hong Kong before and there wasn't that many people here. But this time around, it seems like everything's more like, go, 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 fast, 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 fast. Like we got on this bus and like, she just took off. We almost fell over. And uh, yeah, interesting feel. It's way more crowded. Now we're going to figure out this bus at the border thing. Hopefully it goes well. We're just trying to get to the airport. We just arrived at the huge Macau Hong Kong border bus station. My phone connection is not working in Macau. It says it's full bars 4G, but nothing loads. Quite the experience here in Macau when we don't get to enjoy it for tourism purposes. So hopefully our, the bus apparently leaves in 15 minutes, which is uh, not good. This is a massive area, so... We're not gonna find it in time. I couldn't buy the tickets online. Uh-oh. Hopefully we can still make it if we have to wait an hour here. Didn't see you there. <laughs> if that was a person, they should run away now. I would run away from <laughs> me too. <laughs> we made it through uh, the security and check-in of the train we're taking. This was way easier than we expected. This was convenient. We didn't make the 130 bus that we wanted to, but the check-in lady said that we should still be able to make our flight, which is nice. We went over to some check-in area and it was literally the check-in for our airline, Hong Kong Express. And so we got our plane tickets, uh, we got our bus time in it like 45 minutes, and we should be dropped off right at the airport with our tickets ready to go through frack and security. And it's an interesting ticket. It costs 280, but they give you a refund ticket or like a refund coupon that you can redeem later. We didn't actually pay for it yet, but we have the bus ticket and the refund coupon. Yeah, it's oh. kind of weird. Where do we actually pay? I don't know. Oh, no recording. See you later. Bye. <laughs> wow, the Hong Kong airport. Pretty dang fancy. We've been here, but we don't remember it at all. I don't know why we don't remember it, but this is really cool. They got triangular uh, typhoids on the ceiling. Typhoid fever? Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't even know what typhoid means. I just know it because of typhoid fever. We're going to the observation deck. I don't know what that means, but I want to observe some things. And we got like an hour and a half to our flight even board. So let's see what we can observe. We usually are never this early past the gate. Having to get on the bus so early made it so we are here super, super early, especially since security was like five people. Where the heck are we going right now? This airport's cool too because it has very large glass so you can just see like the massive mountains over there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the observation might, deck might be sick if we can see those. This island of Hong Kong, because we weren't able to see this last time because we just got right on the train and just zoom right into the airport. It looks awesome. I will 
I want to come back to Hong Kong just to explore this island. There's a little cable car we got some B-roll of on the bus. So there's things to do out here, obviously. They have the resorts and such, the amusement parks. Disney Land is out here somewhere. But sea World, sea World's out here, I think, right? Yeah, the ocean park is on the other side of Hong Kong, I know. Is it ever going to be cheap enough to come here? <laughs> it's expensive. I mean, just that bus, if we did pay however much we did, was kind of expensive just for a bus. We, our bullet train from Guangzhou to Shenzhen was $12 USD, and with the refund, that bus was about $20. Coming here after China would be shocking, I bet, because it'd be like the same food, the same type of things, the buildings look similar, but everything would be like double the price. And the culture is slightly different. A little more fast paced here than in uh, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. It's, there's just like pacing, like even the employees and Guangzhou and Shenzhen, the employees were always really friendly and they would be like patient with the whole translation thing. Here, I feel like they'd be like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're very fast paced. They want things to be done. Uh, is this it up here? This nice big glass for actors? So. There we are. This is the big moment here. The observation oh, deck. Cool. It's actually outside. Oh, it's a smoking area. Oh, that's oh, less that's cool, cool actually. This guy's already done that, so we're gonna go and we'll jump back in. Well, there's definitely planes out there. It's a lot louder out here. You see all the all the all the mumbo jumbo going on. It's stinkier too. Lots of smoke. But there's a mountains. I don't like mountains. Oh, there's a the cable car in between. Oh, a butterfly! Don't come in here. No, it's bad for your lungs. The cable car goes all the way to the top. I wonder what's up there. Ethiopian Airlines. Epic. Go. Next trip guys, Ethiopia. And then we're gonna be transiting through the rainforest into the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Look at this jungle river track. We have made it. We're flying back to the Philippines in about an hour and a half. It was a long day, kind of. Everything kind of went quick, but also super long at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. We've done a lot of things. It was a, lot of, it was a long, confusing process, but we fracking made it. We're going to take a break for a bit, and then we'll be on to our next adventures very, very soon. A special country. Have we been there? One of them. It's very full in here. This is one of our first flights to Manila that has been completely full. And the bag storage was very, very full. We barely squeezed ours in there. Let's see what a flight on Hong Kong Express is like. Never even heard of this airline until we bought the tickets, so it seems like it's okay. It's okay. Typical budget legroom, you know, my knees going right into the thing. Surprisingly, there's like this bulge here, which people like sink into it. We got these flights on Kiwi somehow for like a like $140 cheaper than what the website had them as. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Let's see how this goes. Back in Manila. They're doing a new e-travel thing. Well, it's the same e-travel thing, but you actually like make an account and submit a very cute picture of yourself. And we got some very cute pictures, but we are back. We're back in Manila. That was such a long journey, you don't even understand. We left at 7 a.m. this morning and uh, we're back at 10. And that was all day transfer. We didn't do anything else. That is stupendous, but we're back. I'm not, not too uh, tired. I'm actually just really, really hungry. Me too. You know, all things considered, it didn't go that bad for our first time leaving China, then going to Macau, then going to the Hong Kong airport, then going to Manila. We made it. That's all you can say. And now we're going to take a 
few days and head to a different destination. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the China series. I really like China. I think it was a really, really cool country. I think there's a lot of unique elements to it, a totally different culture. And I'm excited to go explore more. If you guys would like to see us explore more. I, I really loved it too. I want to go back. Also with Diane Lines, but uh, the visa situation is always quite the, quite the debacle. It took us a long time, but I'd love to go back very soon. There's a lot of cities, a lot of beautiful things to see. Maybe next time we'll be on a real visa, not a just a visa-free transit, so we can actually go out into nature, go outside of the cities, do more. But that will be for next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this time. See you in the next one, guys. In a different country. <coughs> <coughs>